हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट्स ऑफ करंट इन आर लास्ट क्लास वी डिड टू इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूलाज बेस्ड ऑन बायो साइबर लॉ एप्लीकेशन व्हाट वाज दोज नंबर वन वी फाउंड आउट अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू स्ट्रेट करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर फॉर इंफानाइट लेंथ दैट वॉज अ स्पेशल केस वॉट वॉज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फॉर्मूला बी वॉज इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट आई अपॉन टू आर राइट दिस वॉज For full magnetic field, uh, this was the special case for infinite length from both the ends. Another was it was a semi-infinite when you have the wire and your point of observation is at one of the end. So this will be taken as semi-infinite. The formula was mu not i upon four r. Are these two formulas right? Sure. There is something wrong in this formula. I have not written this word pi. remember this circle magnetic field at the center of the circle b is equal to mu not i upon 2r now this word pi this is how i have memorized it this word pi is uh, 2r this word pi sorry alphabet pi or symbol pi is associated in a lot of ways from the circle right like circumference area etc so this is this pi is not in the formula this is how i have remembered the answer for magnetic field at the center which is equal to mu not i upon 2r for this the for infinite length it is mu not i upon 2 pi r and for semi infinite it is mu not i upon 4 pi r what was the basic formula for any generalized formula for any semiconductor let's not semiconductor any conductor having a current i and distance r general formula was if this is my point of observation which is at perpendicular distance r from this conductor carrying current i so in that case magnetic field would be mu not i upon 4 pi r sin theta 1 plus or sin phi 1 plus sin phi 2 sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 sin phi 1 plus phi 2 whatever where is phi 1 this is our phi 1 and this is our phi 2 sorted these are the few formulas let's do a quick let's do a quick application of these formulas uh, with some examples okay take the first example i'll show you a diagram in which you will tell me the magnitude of magnetic field along with the direction what was the rule associated with the direction of magnetic field that was right hand thumb rule right so okay i can um, in brief again tell you what is right hand thumb rule this is your current carrying conductor having current flowing in this direction so place the right hand of your uh, place the thumb of your right hand in this direction the direction of flow of current then curling of fingers gives you the direction of magnetic field like magnetic fields are like this semi like concentric circles now i'm giving you three examples out of which you have to solve all three obviously number one is this is how current is flowing this is radius r and this is semicircular part current i this is one of the diagram second diagram is current is coming in this conductor undergoes a circular path which is very weird circle so i will redraw it uh, now it is a bit more like circle and in the third case the third diagram states current is coming like this circle is completed like this so this is how current is flowing i want you to give me the magnetic field at point p in all the cases all right see what will be the change in method when we are solving for these three first of all whenever you get any question for magnetic field of current always go for the direction first first direction and then the magnitude how do you find the direction for one of the rule is my inverse right hand thumb rule which states fingers in the direction of current and thumb will give you the direction of magnetic field so ultimately magnetic field is vertically outwards right otherwise uh for this part for this part this when your ends are not given in the 
diagram you will consider it as what it will be a infinite or semi infinite case so magnetic field due to this wire will be considered to be b1 for this semi circular wire i am considering b2 and for this conductor i am considering b3 i should not be writing b2 b3 here because i don't want you guys to get confused i just want you to know that i am writing this b1 for this conductor b2 for the semi circular and the third b3 is for straight wire so let's see the directions first at p point magnetic field due to first conductor part this much part will be vertically outwards thumb in the direction of current fingers vertically outwards for the semi circular path current is going like this right so again this is vertically outwards and for this part again this is vertically outwards so for all the three cases direction is same so ultimately net magnetic field would be what sum of individual magnetic fields and that is b1 is due to straight current carrying conductor of semi infinite length that is 4 pi r then b2 semi circle what is semi circle mu not i upon mu not i upon 2 r is circle that means 4 r is for semi circle and lastly mu not i upon upon what for this also 4 pi r right for the straight after this don't have to solve it right completely in such kind of questions you have to take all those com common things which you can take out here i can take out mu not i upon 4 r is common everywhere so 4 into r i am left with 1 upon pi plus 1 plus 1 upon pi so this gives me 2 upon pi plus 1 right so this is my final answer mu not i upon 4 r 1 plus 2 upon pi this is my final answer this is the magnetic field and if you want to represent the direction as well so right here now i am representing it in vector form so what will be the quantity i'll be adding here to make this whole thing in vector i'll be adding the direction and direction will be it will be i cap right no because magnetic field is like this vertically outward so what is this if this is your y plane x plane and vertically outward z plane so this what was vertically outward that was z plane so k cap so i should have written i should have used this so k cap so this completes your value the magnetic field similarly for this magnetic field at center for this part would be vertically outwards for this part also vertically outwards and for the circle it is not like this it is like this right current is flowing like this so magnetic field vertically inwards so now you definitely have to subtract one of these if magnetic field at p point due to this much part is b1 due to this hole is b2 and due to this part is b3 definitely these two are going to be uh, b3 these two are going to be added up because they are in same direction b2 is going to be subtracted right but which b2 minus b1 plus b3 or b1 plus b3 minus b2 this can be obtained only when we know which is greater which is less so we can just write down first find out bn plus b1 plus b3 is what b1 plus b3 is mu not i upon 4 pi r plus which is this semi uh, semi infinite and this semi infinite mu not i upon 4 pi r right so 2 mu not i upon 4 pi r 2 gets cancel out mu not i upon 2 pi r which is equivalent to the magnetic field at a point due to same like straight infinite length so two semi infinites make one infinite even if it is there is a small gap in between it doesn't matter right it is negligible so this is the final outcome b1 plus b2 b1 plus b3 not b2 i did this mistake like twice or thrice in this whole page right anyhow for b2 b2 is mu not i upon 2r because it is a complete circle a small gap doesn't matter so for complete circuit is 2r so which one is greater this one or this one denominator is higher this side so that makes this whole term smaller b2 is greater so net magnetic field would be b2 minus b1 plus b3 sorted so 
सो नेट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विड बी दिस म्यू नॉट आई अपॉन टू आर माइनस म्यू नॉट आई अपॉन टू पाई आर आउट ऑफ विच आई कैन टेक आउट दिस थिंग कॉमन तो आई बी लेफ्ट इन वन माइनस वन अपॉन पाई दिस इज माई फाइनल आंसर बी एंड इफ आई हैव टू राइट इट इन वैक्टर फॉर्म दिस फॉर्म लाइक विद द डायरेक्शन एंड नेट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज ड्यू टू द बिगर पार्ट बिगर पार्ट इज द डायरेक्शन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू बिगर इज माइनस के सो आई वुड राइट के कैप विद अ नेगेटिव साइन हेयर दिस कंप्लीट्स माई आंसर एंड नाउ सिमिलरली यू गाइज हैव टू फाइंड आउट इट विल बी दिस द आंसर ऑफ दिस एंड दिस विल बी एक्जैक्टली सिमिलर विद जस्ट अ स्मॉल डिफरेंस वॉट इज दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू दिस स्टेट पार्ट विल बी वर्टिकली आउटवर्ड्स के कैप for this vertically outwards k cap for this vertically outwards k cap so you will be actually adding up b1 b3 and b2 and you will get plus here and plus here with the same answer